Hey yo, what's up my beloved champions fam? It's the bad guy WWE champion Zeke Forno back with a brand new video and we are here to knock out some Summer of Darkness tours. The Summer of Darkness July MLC is up and running and gunning so we are going to hop in and do the open tour that ends on Friday and the contest superstar is none other than Ladders to Riches A tier superstar, the must see superstar, modern era tech Miz. So we are about to get a little gameplay on the way. You already know when it comes to hell mode, the autoplay is going to come off. We're just going to go ahead and check out the entourage and see what we're running. We got the big boot turning on and basically almost near an entire board into nothing but yellow gems. But before that, we are going to hit the half Nelson neck breaker, allowing us to choose gems to make into snowfall gems which will produce multiplied gems underneath them once broken and of course the discus punch we're going to deal damage and transform a area five by one area that is into green gems and if we go up against the powerhouse we're going to deal damage and we're going to get additional bonus damage for every snowfall gem now you should already know how this is going to go down half nelson discus big boot lock in low we got a entourage of Finn balor the demon multiplied gems are going to do 38 percent more damage obviously there's a caveat here with the additional multiplied gems being created because our multiplied gems are stemming from the snowfall gems but then we have his wife modern era showboat mrs uh, Ms. and mrs maurice doing uh, um, snowfall gem damage of 50% more damage and red moves starting off with uh, one more MP. Obviously, we're doing green and yellow here, so we don't have to worry about that. Then, of course, we have, following that on the coaching side of things, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, The Rock, Mem Rock, that is. Multiplied gems doing 5% more damage and increasing multiplied gem strength by one. And last and certainly not least, we have the Ring General, decomposed in all zombie gunther blue gems do 30 percent more damage but we are here for that 60 percent more multiplied gem damage now the understand things my miz is sitting here at five star gold that is where he's going to sit because unfortunately when it comes to shards for this uh, this side of things i do not have enough so i would have taken him to six star by now but shards are a thing we got the tokens we got the tp but I am going to make something aware for all y'all. He does have an ultimate strap, which is stun immunity. That's a, a caveat within itself. But then we have this moment. So this moment is going to allow my gems to do 100% more damage. Color moves are going to do 100% more damage. And gems that are placed uh, down on the board with multiplied gem strength are going to be increased by four. So when we go back over here, the initial drop is multiplied gem strength of three then of course we have the uh, we have the rock doing an additional one and then we're getting four so this is a universal moment these are moments that you want to look out for because that means that theoretically these multiplied gems are all going to be at least strength of eight now i could have put matt hardy on there but i need him for his partner in crime when we get to that mix match tag in hell mode but we're going to go ahead take it off and we're going to just lock and load get these knocked out i'm not even gonna lie to you i've seen from some comments from my broskies and siskies that a lot of people aren't feeling this mlc now i am going to tell you ozzy osbourne right now is looking like he's going to be getting into some shenanigans especially being a free to play unit that is right you heard correctly Ozzy Osbourne can be picked up and, re and recruited absolutely free. All you really need to do is just do the manner, do everything, like hit your milestones on your different contests, get these boxes from your tours, and you will be walking away with an absolutely free Ozzy Osbourne, and he is looking good. He is looking great. We are going to do some gameplay on him for sure. By the time his gameplay comes out, more than likely the content creators are over at the good old folks at Scopely are going to go ahead and do the two-man power trip and get that out. I ain't knocking that, but we're still going to do run some things because obviously you can only do so much with him and boom, like I said, 
you were getting a, you're going to come out with a grand total of four because the strength was three off the multiply gems alone and then mem rocks um, uh, increase one was four and then the moment itself is giving you four and then we're just going to lock and load and load up and cycle well one and done but um obviously be on the lookout for uh, for um releases of uh, from the content creators you know look out for professor champions chat Marix, sir zorro benny smaja davy d david boy so just be on the lookout stay posted but all the these characters are looking interesting i'm just looking forward to seeing the six star gold gameplay by the time that this video is um, being recorded I literally just saw a notification for Merrick's Brutus Creed gameplay. So go and check out the boy. Support him. So we're going to steamroll these because I literally got home from work and I was like, I'm going to knock out all these videos. I'm going to take care of so much. And as soon as I got home, I was out. I was out like a light. So bear with me. Now, I cannot do that one. I am glad that I know that. I was hoping and I was hoping and praying I could run Charlotte with Miz. But obviously, there's always going to be a catch-22 in hell modes. So that just means three nodes. Three modes. Three nodes. Three modes. So we're going to knock out um, Kevin Owens right here with all this bonus damage. And we're going to do our best to clear out the final match. But, um... No lie, I've seen a lot of people like having grievances with this because why Ozzy Osbourne? I was tripped out when on the blog and had him as a legend trickster, and now they've gone ahead. Then I look at the card inside, says ruthless aggression, and now they have fixed that. They have wrote that wrong. They have corrected it. So I will give them props there. They 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 did what they were supposed to do, but um. Looking at the game, I understand why people can get upset. It's like, why do we have him in here? Why do we have a? Why do we have this uh, this um, musician, this artist in the game? When in reality, it could have gone to a spot of another wrestler. I understand. I feel your pain. I get it completely. You are not wrong for feeling that way. But WWE, for the longest time, they said sports entertainment. Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath, a legend, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, one of the best to ever do it. He had his role in the WWE, the WWF. They were they respected him for it. They paid homage to him, and now he's in the game. And sometimes it's the characters that you least expect. It's like, look, you got. It's not the, the point fingers. The same people that were mad about the Ghostbusters are happy that they got uh, Ghostbuster Cena. The same the people that were probably upset about the Rocky characters are happy that they got Clubber Lang or Apollo Creed. You're not going to be able to satisfy everybody. And as a business, Scopely understands that. They know that there's going to be a lot of people that won't bite the carrot. But then the curiosity is going to pop up of why did you put this character in the game? And when you see what I'm seeing from Ozzy, and I haven't even seen gameplay yet of Ozzy, Ozzy's going to be a guy that you're going to want to clear out as much as you can in this contest to get the fuse up that you need to take him up. So that's what I'm looking at. It's no different from Santa Hogan. It's the same approach right there. From the tokens and everything, we're going for fuses for Ozzy. And I'm like, live a little. You know, either it works or it doesn't. That's how I see it. Either you're going to get the character and you're not going to ever use them or you're going to use use them while you have the plus 99 mp to get them extra those extra um resources out of him but at the end of the day i mean hey look he's a character he's not going anywhere they had plans they had it set up for the longest time to have this character in the game and they put him in the game Obviously, some people are going to be intrigued to see, like, what's this guy all about? Others are going to feel a, some, a certain type of way. And like I said, I am not mad at you. I, I understand both sides of the coin. It's a wrestling game. It should be nothing but wrestlers. I understand where you're coming from. But it's entertainment. We've literally had characters in the past like Kevin Nash, Big Sexy Cool Diesel, playing a character named Oz. Okay. We've had different characters. We had Hulk Hogan going around as Mr. America. You gotta you gotta open your mind to the spectrum of what's going on in the game and just give it a break. It's a video game. It's not like this is going on on TV currently, okay? The Fiend seemed like a stretch, and then people gave it a shot when they found out who was the man and the genius behind it and the late, great Bray Wyatt. The same concept is here. It might seem weird, but give it a shot. 
wrestling has always been a little unique in its storytelling and the way things unfold and played out. So just give it a shot. And even if you don't like it, just utilize the characters in the month-long contest that they are required for. And if you feel like retiring them afterwards, even with the additional month of plus 99 MP, you can do what you want. But I I got to give them props on it. Looking at Ozzy's um, skill set, his moveset, and his trainer and coaching ability, the guy's going to be a, a, of good use to a lot of people. So... That's the video on this. I mean, look, the everything is live in the in game, okay? Everything is live. You got plenty to do. You got the kickoff tour. Make sure to get your matches in to help your faction out. You got Brutus Creed's tour available. You can either wait like your boy here. I'm personally waiting. This is a month for me where I'm going to chill on the spending. I am pretty confident with my roster and my workload that I do for my faction fam. And for content alone, for my uh, for for the for you, my champions, fam, I'm gonna get Tiffany Stratton. And quite frankly, Tiffany Stratton's the only one that I want. The A tiers seem to be where it's at right now. And getting ready to take up EO Sky to six star gold, get preparing to take up um Wesley to six star gold. I'm going to need a new acro to work on. Shotzi's sitting there chilling, but I, I'm, I'm waiting to see how the gameplay looks. Reading her skill set and her moves and her builds, she looks like she's going to be worth it. But you know what? The last couple of A tiers have been great. The, this could be the first one that's a kind of a miss. It all depends, and it all depends on your style of play. But this is the first video of many to come. We took care of the Summer of Darkness open Friday tour. It's ending on Friday. Um, it's, uh, it is what it is, you know. I, if you got my seed, um, Superstar Miz, I'm pretty sure a lot of you uh, were able to pick them up. With everything going on, you can clear this. You literally just saw me cakewalk this tour. And it's not going to be difficult for you. If you got the VIP pass, then go ahead and take care of your Chance Tour. And then we even got the Bray Wyatt New Face of Fear Tour. Of Fear tour. We are going to do our best to get as far as we can in Bray's Tour. Bear with me. I did do what I normally do. I did pick up the backstage pass. And that's only 10 bucks. Got them at 5 Star Silver. Fused them up. That helped out with the, um, uh, with the uh, manager milestones and rewards. And I was able to clear everything out, no problem. We will see how things go in hell mode because he's still at six star silver, not six star, five star silver max. Don't really feel like taking him up to six star bronze. If I needed to, cool. I am a huge fan of Bray Wyatt. So if anything, this is a tour that's going to be around for a while. We'll get as far as we can with it. And if I decide to go during the feud prep talent up, my poor boy, David Boy, David Boy, he got caught lacking earlier. If you don't know, check out his channel. Check out his talent up because he went all in. The boy was doing some things, and I mean doing some things, and it did not go right at all. But like he said, sometimes a part of human nature is, even for a bad guy like yours truly, we get caught up in the old way of doing things when there is a new way to go about it. So there wasn't no faction feud this uh, this weekend, Davey. I'm sorry, but I still applaud all the moves that you made. With that being said, though, hey, yo, hard work pays off. Dreams come true. Bad times don't last. But champions do. Mad love and respect to each and every single one of you of my beloved champions fam. Make sure to like the video, share the video, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date on all the moves being made by yours truly, the bad guy, the WWE champion, Zeke Forno, the most electrifying content creator in WWE champions entertainment. And let's chop it up in the comments below, y'all. Let's see what uh, what moves you made. Have you re uh, have you recruited and unlocked Ozzy Osbourne yet? Be on the lookout for some gameplay. Uh, we're going to get into some shenanigans. And uh, quite frankly, let me know what your thoughts are on the Summer of Darkness tour. Let's be realistic before I head out of here. Normally during the summertime, we've always gotten a collab a collab MLC. Whether it was WWE Masters of the Universe. Whether it was the Mutants debuting. Whether it was Ghostbusters. Rocky, and now Ozzy Osbourne. There has always been, for a set amount of years now, 
during the summertime, one month or another, there's always been a collaboration MLC. And a lot of great characters have come from those collaboration MLCs. When you make action figures like WWE does, WWF had, you're going to have some like out of nowhere collaborations and characters showing up. I honestly was hoping to see Bad Bunny pull up. Maybe they're keeping him tucked away for right now. But look, just enjoy it. It's a fun one-off. We probably won't see Ozzy again, but for the same reason, more reason for you to go in because you might not see Ozzy pull up again unless it's a very special banner, maybe a player's choice or best of 2024. You're probably not going to see him like that. So get him while you can. You can recruit him absolutely free just by doing what you're supposed to do in the game, and that's having a good time. So let the good times roll. Mad respect to all of your opinions. We can agree to disagree. I understand all sides of it. But at the end of the day, this is a game that we all love and play. So let's continue to enjoy it. I'll see y'all next time. Stay tuned. Peace.